guys, this is Jody. I am here on my husband's profile to show you what it's like when you first start Canva and to show you um, just a little bit about how to use Canva. Um, okay, so I just went to canva.com and when you first go in, there's a little tutorial that you can go through and it steps you through what to do. Um, so here, this it's all doing this for me, Sh um, showing you how to drag things onto there. Anyway, you can go through that tutorial if you are a beginner, but I want to skip that. So let me see, is it going to let me skip it? Really? It's not going to let me skip it. <laughs> Okay, now it's my turn. Okay, so you can keep going through this tutorial and it shows you how to do stuff, but I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna push, um, click on Canva in the corner. And uh, this is where, this is sort of like your dashboard. Um, when you start doing graphics, they'll, they'll be saved down here so you can choose something that you've worked on before down here. But on this profile, I, ha I don't have anything. So I am gonna come up here and choose a size for my project. You can do Facebook covers, uh, Facebook post. We'll click on that. <clears throat> okay, um, you can click up here to title your design and so I'll just say sample all right over here they have pre-made layouts that you can use some of them are free and it'll say free here and some of them are not they'll have a little dollar sign um, so you can just kind of scroll through and look for free um, free images and free layouts that you might want to use. So the really cool thing about these these layouts is that you can choose a free one and you can modify it um, with our UBAM colors and fonts and graphics. So I like this goals one for UBAM. Um, but of course that's not our, that's not the right color for our brand. So what we can do is click on it, click the color, and I have uploaded our specific hues onto here. Um, and the way you do that is you push the plus sign and enter in the hue code right there and it just will pop right up. So I already have them in there. Um, let's go ahead and change it to purple. And we can change our font to a layout. Um, maybe change these colors, make them more fun. And we'll get rid of these goals and make our make some better ones. Let's see. We can use uh Helveta Sish. Let's see, my goals are go to Disney World. Woohoo! And Delete these ones. Go to Disney World. Um, become a director. <laughs> and get a house full of books. Yay. Change those colors 
And you can also change the text spacing so they can be closer together or farther apart. We'll put them up close there so we can fit some more stuff down below. See how easy it is to just move everything around? Um, over here we also have elements, so you can add shapes, illustrations, lines. You can have fun just looking through all that stuff. Um, over here you can upload your own images and logos. So I went ahead and uploaded Be the Change and Make It Happen. I think that'll be a good one for this graphic. And maybe some flags. Can you size it so simple? Just put it where you want it. And our independent consultant logo. Stick it right there. Ta da! There's our graphic. Those look like some good goals to me. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's it's really easy once you start just figuring it out and playing around with it. Um, when you're done, you can push File to save. That automatically will save it. And then you come over here and push Download. And I usually do High Quality Image. And it just downloads it right to my computer. And then you can upload it onto Facebook. Do, do, do. Design is ready. Oh. Okay. And when you go back over here to the main menu of Canva, you'll see here are some of our saved designs. And you can easily go back in, click on it, and then make changes again in the future. So just have fun playing around with it. Don't be scared. It's really easy and really cool. So have a good time and let me know if you have any more questions about it. Thanks guys.